tugiye kujara mu mwanya w'ijambo ry'Imana we are about to enter the time of the word of god ariko mbere yuko tuganire ku ijambo ry'Imana but before we share the word of god kanongere sabe pastor Imana madam we bazambuka imbere i would just request pastor Emma ni nawo batubwira ijambo ry'Imana uyu munsi because he is the one who is going to share the word but i would like to invite both of you to come by mbere yuko bahaye mikoro ngo batubwirize cyangwa batugane ijambo ry'Imana before i give the microphone for him to preach the word of god gushaka kubashimira we would like to appreciate them Murabizi abari abakozi b'Imana tubanye tumaranye nabigiye. You know these are the servant of God we've been with for the whole month. Bundi pastor Imana umudamu we naba Nigeria bamaze iminsi mu Rwanda mu murimo w'Imana. Pastor Emma and his wife uh, are servant of God and they are serving they we they have been serving God here in Rwanda. Kwabanye nabo mu kwezi kwa kane. We were with them in April they even allowed us to have them with us the whole month of may from 1st of may every tuesday every thursday and every for three services they fed us with a word of god that is full we were fed and we were full they gave us a true word an anointed word a powerful word and the great seeds that can be harvested at any time in the name of the leadership even the christians that are here pastor Emma even the people who are following you online even the people following us on the radio we say by all of us that God bless you the seed you sow and this nation in this people are, are, are being manifested and the lord that used you is going to reward you more than what we can do i believe all of them would come and embrace you if they have time but we will not have enough time for everyone but we speak on their behalf thank you very much in africa arise we'll be together with them when we appreciate she lead the apostle Paul Gitwaza Humushe yurugo wa mutuzaniye Our father who brought him to us Yarakoze imani mu humugisha We thank him and appreciate him may the lord bless him Ah dushimye ni imana and we thank God Ikorera mu bakozi who uses his servants Kuko ni bitegura for he is a plan of God Because of our souls and life Imana ishimwe kandi bihimbaza May our lord be praised now before we give him the microphone i would just request everyone to stand as we honor the word of god and the servant of god let us thank god and we will give him the microphone but before he says anything i would like to ask him to, to give mama a word <laughs> Lord, we thank you. 
For you love us and you are faithful. You take care of us and you speak to us. You created a wonderful moment for us in this month, even in your work. We bless your servants that you gave to us in this period to feed us from the treasures you hid in him. We ask for a blessing in his life and every project of him, in his family, in his ministry, wherever he will step, God be with him and bless him and your hand May we be with him by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God for this wonderful family. For out of his love and mercy, he has brought us together and make us to be one in him. Hallelujah. And I want to assure somebody that is sitting down here today, God is going to meet you at the point of your need. All you need to do, relax in his presence. Relax in his presence. Forget the problems you have at home. Forget every other thing that is not there with you. But God has something for you. And you are going to leave this place today a new person. Transform. But you must relax in his presence. Believe that your father who loves you has something better for you. He can answer those unanswerable questions in your mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm humbled. You are? I'm humbled. Thank you so much. I lack words to express the, the, the feeling I have in my heart. But I will always be thankful for Zion Temple. And that is not to say I'm going to leave. Like a pastor come and appreciate today, me today like this. I am, I am not going. <laughs> I am not going. Yeah, yeah, that's that's correct. I'm not going. Can you, you, know, know, you know why? <laughs> Jesus told yes, we are to be missionaries. He said, any house you enter, and they take you. Stay there. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, oh. Is that not what he said? That's what he said. Right? So you know where. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Amen. Amen. Until the time he will say. Please come home, then I will go. But for now, mm. Zion Temple, please. Much. Kujezi jihe, umama zafuga ngwa guru kujende. Ariko kujezi umunsi. Atarafugu mgami. Na ahonji. I thank Apostle.
to all that he has for all he has done for me and, and the grace he has allowed me to receive of all of you hallelujah hallelujah may god bless him May the Lord increase his oil on him. May the Lord take him to the next level. May the bless Apostle Gizdwaza. And bless everyone that is walking. Him. Let the unity be strong. And let his presence, the presence of God, ever abide with you all. Amen. 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 Let's go to business. Can we just stand up? And pick our Bibles. And let's this morning. Luke chapter 7. I'll read from verse 36. Luke chapter 7. 36 to 50. Luke. Luke chapter 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. This is talking about Jesus. I want you to note it as we are reading. A Pharisee invited Jesus to come and eat with him. Knowing who a Pharisee is to Jesus, if you were Jesus, will you follow him to go and eat? Will you go? You know who the Pharisee is? Every time they are on him to kill him. And such a person said Jesus come and eat in my house today. And no objection. Jesus Jesus is wonderful. Let me tell you the truth. Me, I will not go. Because I know them. But he went. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, Brought an alabaster box of ointment. Umugore wa muro mudugu duwaro mwenye abjaha. Amenya yuko yesu arira mwuzu yu wa mufarisayo. Umukondo wa mavuta meza. And stood at his feet behind him weeping. And began to wash his feet with tears. And did wipe them with the hairs of her head. And kissed his feet and anoint them with the ointment. Now, Pharisees which had bidden him saw it. He speak within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who, what manner of woman this is that touched him. For she is a sinner. Now, 
This is why I said I wouldn't have followed him. Because Pharisee must talk. Pharisee jealous. The Pharisee must ask why. And mind you, I'm just briefing you, pick this point because we are going to rush. People can easily jump into conclusion on you. Especially when they feel they are more righteous than you. They can quickly conclude and judge you and condemn you because she was a sinner. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto you. I have something to say to you. And he said, Master, say on. Yesu aramusubizati, Simon, fiticho ngubgira, Ati nijisha ngira. Master, say on. Arafuga ngom nijisha ngira. I don't like what you did. Nabgo unakunzi vjoa. I'm a sinful woman to touch you. Kwe merira umugore wumunya vjaa hakuza. Say it, let me hear you. Let me hear you today. Arafuga ngom reka ngomfi. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Atihari humu nwaguri zaga warufita wa nubabiri wa mwere ya mwenda. Umge yarimo umenda wide na ryo magana tano. Undi arimo mirongo itano. I hope you are following the play. Church, are you still following the play? Please go on with me. Simon answered, I suppose he, to whom he forgave most, and he said unto him, You have rightly judged. Simon answered, And Jesus turned to the woman, and said unto Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered into your house. You gave me no water to wash my feet. But she had washed my feet with tears. And wiped them with the hairs of her head. You gave me no kiss. But this woman, since she, the time I came in, had not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil you have not anointed. But this woman had anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto you, her sins which are many are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, unto her. They may think of your sin. But go. Go. Your sins are forgiven. Are forgiven. And they sat at meat with him began to say within themselves who is this that forgives sin also your faith has saved you go in peace, go in peace. Father bless us this morning with your word. Give us what you have in mind for us this morning. And let the yoke be broken. Give us joy in your presence. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Take your seat. This morning I'm talking with us on your gift, your gift, your gift, your gift. Your gift. 
Your gift. Imano zao. Your gift. Imano zao. Is a proof. Of your repentance. Chuko we haniye. We have been discussing this week about giving, Tumaze, serving God with your giving. Kumagambo, avugango, gukore, limana, we talk mugutanga. about tithe, Tukwavuze, ichachime, and we talk about offering, matura, sanze, we talk about others' gift. Tuta, zindi, mano. But I want you to note one thing Ariko, nagira, ngutinde, kuchinu, that ichime, I discover from here. Ichinu, nanu, Everybody has something to give. Church, are you still there with me? Everybody has something to give. Nobody can come to God and said, I have nothing to give you. If you do, you are a liar. You may be rich in one thing. And I am not rich in what you are rich in. You may have that I don't have. Or I may have what you don't have. But everybody has something. Everybody. Nobody were created poor. You may come to the world without anything like you say. But you are rich. Give a little time. Put everything God has put in you to use. And very soon. The little you. Will become great. But any man that lock up what he has and refuse to give out what he has and refuse to express what he has give it a short time too and you will see yourself born. Your economy in life depends on how you give up. Please follow me. This woman is there any woman in the house? Eh? No, 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 no. There is no Woman, not seen any woman. Is there any woman here? Okay. Okay, hold it. Is there any man in the house? Oh, I'm hearing it gradually. Maybe men are more than women in this place. If you are a man in the house, can you shout amen? Amen. I like that. Is there any woman? No, no, no. Is there Amen. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, what's the difference? No, no. Do we have more men or more women? I think more women. But why it look as if the women are less is because the women hold what they have. They are helping themselves. They don't want to shout. So that the things on the leaves cannot go. They don't want to raise their hands. So that nothing happens to their dress. You want to keep it. You want to preserve it. But let me hear the men again in the house. Meluya! Learn to give what you have. Learn to give what you have. Stop comparing what you have with what others have. 
our problem most of the time is that we we don't value what we have rather we look at the other person and instead of thanking God and using what you have to worship God using what you have to praise God you wish you were the next person so that you can use what he has to do God's work what about you what about you if I had this, I would have done this. You will never get that until you use what you have. Because God did not create you empty. Now, church, listen to me. Let us draw away the taking attitude we have. Yes, the taking attitude. The taking, taking. The taking we have. Hey, give me. Hey, give me. Hey, give me. Nobody will give you until you give. Nobody will give you until you give. Listen to me. There is no poverty in church. You want me to say it again? Listen, listen, listen. There are levels. There are levels. Yeah, there are levels. You wear white suit, I wear black. You wear white. I wear black. Not that I don't have white. There's no poverty. Everybody that come to church You may have come poor You may have come poor But be sincere with yourself And serve in church Give a short time You will be better than your colleague that is poor outside. I'm telling you the truth. Poverty in church looks more beautiful than poverty outside. Oh, you are not hearing me this morning. Yes, I am. 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 I Am I? Sibyo. Sibyo. Please talk with me. Talk with me. If what, if, if what you were doing, clapping and appreciating me is true, talk with me. I like sometimes when you are quiet because I know it's entering. But listen. I want you to throw away that poverty mentality. You throw have. It Tell off. yourself, I'm rich. God put something in me. God make me like a destitute. God has made me. I am wonderfully. And fearfully. Made. There is something in you. It's there. Now look at. My problem is always with. The self-righteous people in church. Those that are too holy. Holier than the God who called them. I fear them. I'm telling you the who truth. Who always measure everything. With the eyes. In the, the spiritual eyes of sin. Who do well and who don't do well. And every step they measure. 
No, 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 no. They observe the dressing of everybody. They look at the hairstyle. And see God in it and see Satan in it. No, 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 no. Let's forget about that. I am always touched by those people. I, I have problem with them. And I think this is the problem Jesus has. The so-called Pharisees. Who think that they know it all. Who think that they have it all. But they don't know that they are empty. Very soon. Very soon. The person you think cannot see God will begin to see God and show you how to serve God. And I want to challenge you this morning that throw off such mentality and serve God. Now listen to me. The Pharisee has it to go and invite Jesus because they are at the same level. Papa, God bless you. I was looking at the race. Jesus, come and eat with me. And Jesus said, okay. But there was a man who normally has some deal with the Pharisee. George, are you still there with me? Because these holy and Christians they know who is a sinner. Pharisees know who is a sinner. They know the woman and the woman know them Sometimes, if he sneak to the woman and have some affairs with the woman, and they will abandon the woman and invite Jesus to their house and remove the night clothes and wear the church clothes and sit very free to enjoy with the righteousness of Jesus. But that day, that day the woman was watching when the Pharisee invited him the woman was watching let me see what will happen to suddenly Jesus followed the man and went to the house the woman said what this man can invite Jesus and Jesus follow him then what will I do what am I still doing here don't I have something at least I have what it takes I can also get Jesus I can also get Jesus to, to me, church, you can get Jesus. You can also get Jesus. And Jesus can come to you. Even though invited to another house, Jesus can make a talk. I like women. Women, can you shout amen? Amen. Because women has it. They have it. They can take your friend from you. Are you still there with me? Women can take your hand from you. Yeah. You don't understand me. If a woman vow for you that that's your love, I will take that love from you. You are already in trouble. Because you know what to do. He can take your lover. A woman can snatch from you. He can take at any time. So that day, the Pharisee didn't understand. But the woman said, I'm going to take Jesus. I am going to take Jesus. Is there somebody in the house that want to take Jesus? You want to take Jesus? This the woman said, I'm taking Jesus. So she 
Get it ready. She looked left and right. Said, what will I do? What am I going to do? She said, okay. Okay. I have that oil. That perfume. That special perfume. I have that oil. That I bought. With so much money. I have it. I'm going to take it. She took her oil. And by the time she shake her head, oh, she realized she just came back from Salon. She knew that it's still glittering on her head. head. It's still shining. Yes, Murakaka on his head. <laughs> on her head. She know it's still shining on her head. Yes. So she shed the head. She just my hair. She looked at herself. She said, I'm beautiful. I am beautiful. Jesus like me. Jesus can like me. And as she began to admire herself, she forgot that she was a sinner. I'm on church. Are you still there with me? She forgot that she's a sinner. An unworthy person. An unworthy person going to meet a righteous man. She forgot. But she knew that with what I have, I can get it. So she went. The Bible says she came to the house. And she discovered that she is rheumatic. Romantic. Hmm. Listen to me. Listen to me. That word is not satanic word. God, is Satan. Yes, romantic is not satanic word. Do you know you can you can also Jesus. And Jesus will be happy. Oh, oh, oh. Are there some Pharisees in the house? Are there some Pharisees in the house? Listen to me. Listen to me. Are there some Pharisees in the house? And turn at the table. Yinjira ajamu siameza. Aratangira. Aravuga. I love you. That and dagukunda. Oh Jesus. Ngami wanji. I love you. Dagukunda. And I will say Jesus. Yes, wanji. I love you. Dagukunda. Oh Jesus. Yes, we. I love you. Dagukunda. I love you. Dagukunda, yes, we. And as he was loving Jesus. Ugo ya kunda ga yes, we. As he was loving Jesus. Ije ya kunda ga yes, we. Because real love come from the heart. Guaru rukunda rufu ya mumuti ma we. And real love we bring in the heart. Guaru rukunda rufuzana marira. So as she was loving Jesus. Ije ya la ji kunda yes, amu kunwa kaza. The tears began to flow. A marira tangira kumanuka. Oh, I love you, my master. Ngami wanjenda gukunda. I love you, my master. As he was loving, the tears began to flow. He was dropping on Jesus. And Jesus looked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Jesus leave the leg. So if you are a Pharisee in the house, if you are a Pharisee in the house, you go and draw back the leg of Jesus. But Jesus leave the leg. And she put the tears. Jesus, I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you, Jesus. I was using the hair. Brought the leg. With the hair. And as she was doing it, Jesus shifted the left leg. Come on, go ahead. And she kept doing it. And she kept doing it. And he was enjoying it. Honestly, she began to kiss. Hey, hey, kiss. Did you not see? Eric, you saw kiss in the Bible? You saw kiss. He, she kissed. 
She was kissing the leg of Jesus. Pharisee had it. Pharisee had it. Who is that? By the time he peeped under the table, who is this woman? This woman has done my love to this Jesus now. Listen to me. Turn your love from what you love to love God. What is sin? What is sin? Sin is anything you do without faith. Anything you do without faith. Anything you do without God is sin. But if you can love God is not sin. You are not hearing me. Turn your love to God. And stop loving things that are immaterial. The woman turned her love immediately. And by the time she gave him his kiss, the Pharisee knew that this one has gone out that this one has repented this one has followed God this one is separated and the Pharisees get angry and say if he has known this woman he wouldn't have allowed her to touch him did he know that woman is it woman that is touched or love. I want you to answer me. Listen, it was love that is touching. That was touching. Touch God with your love. If you love God, show it by your gift. Let your love touch God. Turn it from wherever And come to love God. You may not have much. But you have love. You don't have the food. But you have. You can make a table. But you have love. You cannot prepare food. But you have love. Everybody has something that will lift you from the level of life you are now. Let your affection touch the God you serve. Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody hearing me? Love God. Love God. Kundi man. Love God. Kundi man. And stop playing righteousness. Ureke guchina no kuichi nishango urumuchirano si. Stop playing life. Ureke gukora teatre zoku umuchirano If you love God, riu kundi man. Invest in God. Tanga mu man. Invest in God. Tanga mu mana. She poor. Ara asuka mavuta. Jesus said that is not a problem. Simon, I have something to say to you. And Simon says, say it. You have anything to say it. You need to hear the tune. Say on. You don't know this woman you are touching. And Jesus said, listen to me, Simon. I'm a, I'm a master. I'm a teacher. According to the law of the Pharisee. When somebody like me enter your house. What are you supposed to do number one? You give me water to wash my face. Simon did you do it? No righteous man did you do it? Did you wash the feet of Jesus? What have you applied to Jesus? You do to him to qualify your righteousness. And Simon was shut up. He couldn't answer. He said, Number two, Simon. Since I entered your house, did you, did you put any oil on my hand? 
Did you wipe my feet? Did I know where you are talking? You said Simon. The Bible says she turned to the woman. He turned to the woman. I said, turn to the woman. I can, I can see Jesus holding the woman. Holding the woman. As he holds the woman. The he sold him again. She has sold her again. Why, why is this man? He said, Simon, I have not finished with you. This woman Use her tears. Wash my feet. What you could not do. Use her hair. Wipe my feet. What you could not what do. Could not do. This same woman has poured oil on me. You could not do. Simon, you are wicked. But this woman is right. There is no problem about sin. I, for, I forgive you your sin. Eh? Just like that. Just like that. This woman is qualified. Is so God has forgiven her her sin. No. So this woman can now be righteous. They turn from the woman. No, no, ho, I so, but who is this man that forgives sin? Who is this man that forgives sin? And Jesus, you know, Jesus turned back to the woman. He said, Why are you crying? 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 Why you are you are you are you listening to me? You are better. Your righteousness. What you do. What you do from now. Get involved. Jesus is waiting for your love. Anything you love, you spend on. You spend for what you love. Is there any lover in the house? Is there any lover in the house? Now, if you are a lover in the house, don't you spend for what you love? Don't you spend for what you love? You are a man here. And you said you love your wife. Every day I love you. Every day I love you. And you don't give any gift. Only the love in the mouth. I love you. Now women. Do you like that man? Whose love is in the mouth? Always in the mouth. Women here. Do you like that man? Who will tell you I love you? But giving one, one bonbon, he will never, she will, he will never give you. You, you spend for what you love. If, 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 if you love me, if you love me, if you love me, if you love me, dress me. Am I right? Am I right? Come on, answer me. I'm not taking anything from you. I'm not taking anything now. So answer me. me. If you love me, dress me. Mama, am I right? Eh? I'm right. Thank you. If, if you love me, I want to go to salon. Am I right, Mama? Correct. If you love me, don't you see my neck? I don't have a ring. I don't have a shoe. If you love me, care for me. Darling, I'm hungry. I know food. And you say I love you. Where is that man? Uncle, where is that love? If you love, spend. 
Hallelujah. Nibukunda uzatanga. It's a proof. Kuko ni kimenyetso. It's a proof. Ni kimenyetso. Women. Abagore. If you love your husband. Nibukunda umugabo wawe. Spend. Nawe utange. Are you hearing me? Urankurikiye. If you love your pastor, Nibukunda umushumba wawe. Spend. Ugira icyo umutanga ho. If you like clap very well. If you don't like, don't clap. I will pray for you. Listen. Love Urukondo is expressed by tick. Kandi rugaragazwa nuko hari cyo ubutanze hari impano hari cyo utanze ugatanga uratanga ukavuga ko umukunda Jesus was waiting for it Yesu yarabitegereje aho It's not all about food Ntabwo ari byo kurya gusa It is about affection Ahubwo no gukuya kuya It's affection no gukuya kuya it is not betting and coming to church. But it is relationship. What you have with God. You are a visitor to his house. Or you are part of the house. God wants you. Not just the food. If you can show affection. And express your heart. Throw down your tears for him. Use your best part to serve him. Use your energy to serve him. If you can give him about you, this is what God wants. This is what God wants. And the Bible said this woman offered it. I like Jesus. He said, this woman, you think she has much sin. Much is forgiven her. Because, because she loves much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you that love little, your little sin also is forgiven. But he that loves much, much is forgiven. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. But this morning prayer is, is a blessing. I'm going to bless you. But listen. Listen flow on your submission to Ito itemba kuwera guganduka kwawe musiayo. And you are key into. Kandi urufungu zoro kwinji zaho. I will pray for you. Nda gusengera uvu. And I believe the God I serve. Kandi nizera yuko imana ngorera. That he has put something in you. Kohari chini yagu shizemo. That you can use to serve God. Ushawara gukoresha kujirango na ukoreri mana. That you can give to God. Ushawara guhi mana. You have your profession. Ufita kazi kawe. You are skilled. Tumeni. You have your beauty. Ufite ugiza. You you are eloquent. Ufite kuvuga neza. You have money. Ufita mafaranga. You have your cars. Ufite kazi kawe. You have your house. Ufite nzu. You have so much. Ufite bishi. That God. Iman has given to you. Yakui hele yugayo. But you need to use it. Ariko uchene kui koresha. To serve God. Kujira ngu koreri man. When you use it to serve Him. Iyo ubi koresha kujira ngu koreri man. God is not taken away from you. Iman na hagi kwa kibju ya kuhayo. But as you serve Him with it. Ahugi yu koresha jibju ukoreri man. He is forgiving your sin. Iman ila kuwa barira. Listen to me. Huri chira. I didn't know. Na gunari nziko. That if you give to God. Your sin can be forgiven without confession. Without confession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Do you understand it? The woman did not confess. 
forgive me, I'm a sinner. No, 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 no. no, no. He expressed of And in the expression, Jesus said, Yes, Your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Very simple. Very easy. Grace. And shall follow you as I pray for you now. Your hand that release to give shall bring about your repentant heart, your power to serve God, the grace to serve Him. As you release your hand to say, God. I love you. And you release to him. God will forgive you. He will forgive you. He will wipe up your tears. And position you. As you are seated. As you are seated. Just bow your heads. I'll pray for you. Jesus is seeking for love. Jesus He wants love. He wants love. If you are touched, you can come forward. The altar is free for you. As I pray for you, Jesus, yes, need your love. If you can love God, nothing will be hard for you to give. To give God. Sickness is going right now. Sickness is going. I'm telling you, there are problems at home. Why don't you give God? Why don't you love Why don't you him? Why don't you yourself? And say, God, I am for you. And let him take over your problem. And let him take over your problem. This morning, I leave it all to you. I give it all to you. Lord Jesus. Evening, no, no, no. Get ready as we pray. As you shed your tears with him. Really from my heart, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Take your eyes away from people who talk. People who talk you down. People they talk you down. They will despise you. Jesus, accept you. He accept you. He accept you. They may see you as a sinner unworthy cannot not qualify he can get it but Jesus is waiting for your love. Can you bend on him? Say, my master. Call to you. To you. Every wound in your heart. Every wound in your spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
Come on! Daddy is here! Your master is here! I can feel his presence! Daddy, white tears this morning! Daddy, white tears this morning! Daddy, white May God provide for you. Oh, give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. Come on, church. Can we go before? Come on, church. Can we go before? Come on, church. Can we go before? I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. Every pain in your life, every sickness in your life. Lord, look at our hearts. Look at our hearts this morning. There is nothing we can do that the Lord Everything in me. Everything in my brother. Everything in my sister. My Lord and my God. As we burn your altar, as we burn your altar, Lord, the heal the sick, take over the situation, make that business proposal, from now on, to their situation, my Lord and my God, I love you. I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, hallelujah. I love you, Daddy. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. I give myself away. 